Today we have the Alpharex Nova Series LED projector headlights fitting your 2018 Plus S550 Mustang. If you're looking to get some of that 2024 7th Gen Mustang styling for your S550, these are the way to go. We're going to show you a quick product review, a step-by-step -step installation, and ultimately how beautiful these things look on this Race Red 2018 S550 Mustang. Check it out. Here we have the Alpharex Nova Series LED projector headlights fitting your 2018 to 2023 Mustang. It's really hard to believe that the 2018 Mustang is five years old this year. With that said, if you want to take this to S650 level styling, the Alpharex LED headlights are the perfect way to go to completely revamp the front end of your S550. These headlights truly have unique styling given that they have the triple ice cube projector headlights, unique tri-bar styling so it still has that signature tri-bar look that we all know and love with Mustang but you have the option to either run white like the regular factory DRLs or amber full time. Additionally, you also have sequential LEDs for the amber turn signals. So whether you're running the white daytime running light or the amber daytime running light, they will jump to amber for that sequential turn signal. These headlights are SAE and DOT compliant with that UV protectant coating. One thing I really love about the Alpharex headlights is they take the time to have a really cool startup sequence. Really excited to see what this looks like on an S550 Mustang when you hit that unlock button or turn the vehicle on, it's gonna have that awesome startup sequence. These headlights in front of me are the alpha black version with the gloss black housing. It has that triple patented ice cube projector design that has much brighter output than the factory headlights. In addition to that, you also have the nice clean cutoff line, which makes it super easy to adjust and align in comparison to your factory headlights. Alpharex includes everything you need for a super easy plug and play installation. No cutting or splicing required. So we're gonna show you a quick step-by-step -step installation on how to do this on your own S550 Mustang, and we'll go from there. Here are the tools required for installation. Pop the hood on your S550 Mustang and remove the battery cover. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the negative battery cable and a panel removal tool to start working on the radiator cover. Next, you're ready to begin removing all the bolts holding the bumper cover into place. Don't forget the smaller bolts by either headlight on both sides. The next part you can do on the ground. You don't necessarily need to have the car in the air. You can turn the tire in either way, but we took the wheel off. That way we can get you a better look at what we're doing. The idea here is to pull the wheel liner back. You'll need to remove all the push pins from the top moving forward in order to do that. You can pull the wheel liner down and get access to the bumper tab. Ratcheting wrench makes this super easy. There's a Christmas tree in the center of that bracket. You can pull it out. While you're in there, go ahead and pull out the connector for the parking lamp assembly. Next, go ahead and get underneath the car and get a seven millimeter socket in order to remove the hardware connecting the splash shield to the subframe. You also need to remove a couple push pins as well. At this point, you're ready to pull off your factory bumper cover. Go ahead and pull the bumper tabs away from both sides at either headlight, and then you can pick it up from the center and pull it away. Now you're ready to remove your factory headlamp assembly. There are three bolts, one on the bottom, one on the top, and one on the side. Once you have the headlamp out, there's one clip holding the wiring in place, and then you can disconnect the headlight itself. At this point, now it's time to decide whether or not you wanna have the white daytime running light or the amber daytime running light. These headlights come right out of the box with the white daytime running light. You'll have to do one extra step in order to get the amber daytime running light. Regardless of whether you have the white DRL or the amber DRL, you're going to have the amber turn signals. One thing to note if you're choosing between white or amber, 
white, you're gonna have the sequential turn signal, meaning that the turn signal in the headlight will match the same speed of the turn signal in the combination lamp. Now, if you do make the jump over to amber, it will actually be opposite of each other. So again, it's one thing to keep in mind if you were to go towards those amber daytime running lights. If you do wanna go amber, you go ahead and remove the circular cover on the back of the headlight. You'll find two small black connectors. Go ahead and connect them together. Once they're connected, go ahead and stuff the wiring back in, put the cover back on, and you're ready to install with your amber daytime running lights. Regardless of which daytime running light you choose, you do have to use the adapter here. AlphaRx makes it super easy. You have a yellow wire coming out of the back of the headlight, and out of the adapter, you connect the white wire, and they click into place. Now you're ready to install your headlight. Go ahead and clip the wiring back into place and connect the headlight itself. You can hang the headlight in the same location. Go ahead and get the bolt started by hand while you're supporting it with your other hand. Support the bottom of the headlight and go ahead and tighten all the bolts by hand. Then you can tie up the excess wiring with a zip tie. And don't forget to plug the adapter into your factory combination lamp harness. Now, if you do need to align the headlight, it's super easy. Just grab a Phillips head screwdriver from the top, just like the factory location, and you can align it up and down that way. Now, here is a great example of the difference you're gonna get with the Alpharex Nova Series headlights versus your factory headlights. Don't get me wrong, the factory headlights, those LEDs are very bright to begin with, but if you're looking to take it to the next level, the Alpharex is the way to go. A good trick here is when you have one factory headlight in place and one Alpharex headlight in place, this is a great opportunity to align it up against the wall. That way you can align your new headlight right with the stock one. And then once your new Alpha X headlight is in the place on the other side, you can align it with your existing Alpha X headlight. After that, reverse the disassembly process, put the bumper cover back into place, the radiator cover, the wheel liners, make sure your splash shield's bolted up into place, reconnect the battery terminal, and you're ready to roll. I love the way these Alpharex Nova Series LED projector headlights look on the S550 Mustang, especially that race red finish. You can't beat it. One of my favorite parts about installation of these Alpharex headlights is that they include the adapter and it taps right into the back of the headlight. You don't need to pull any connector apart or anything like that. It's a super easy installation. Once you get the bumper off, headlights go into place, reverse the installation process, and you're completely done. Super easy, let us know what you think. This is a totally different look than honestly what I'm used to on the S550 Mustang, but with the 24s on the horizon and those three separate projectors that look very similar to the S650 Mustang, honestly, I think it's a welcome addition to the lineup. Let us know your thoughts, comment below, hit that like and subscribe button, the notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.